Hey guys, welcome back. I have March first look video and we had one, two, three, four, four regular releases and one um, faith release. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into them so um, I don't keep you guys too long. Um, the first stamp set is um, that we previewed was um, Fairy Happy. And you have, oh gosh, I didn't even count this one, two, three, four, two, three, four, um, 16 little fairies. And then you have a smile, have a very happy day, and twinkly wishes. And then you have um, the coordinating um, little fairy house garden um, type stamp set and um, both of these have coordinating dies that you can purchase. Um, I know you guys are probably super tired of hearing me go on and on about these dies but I will say this for the fairy happy stamp set the dies were a lifesaver. Um, as far as the fairy garden, um, it's big enough that you could cut it. Um, however, I just don't like cutting really tiny images. It's just too much to cut for me personally. So I prefer um, the die and I go ahead and um, usually I'll stamp a bunch and then cut them out so it's ready for my next project. Um, I think I used all of my fairies and you'll see it in a minute, but yeah. These dies are really, this time, a lifesaver, um, especially since, again, they're so tiny. So yeah, this is um, the Fairy Happy um, stamp set with a coordinating um, little house, garden. Um, so yeah, I really, really love these for my planners because um, they fit very well. And I will show you that in just a second. Alright, so for my planner, I had used it for the front page of my March. Um, I went ahead and colored it. Um, and I colored this, or I stamped them all out on sticker sheet, plain white sticker sheet. Um, I use um, my, I use the one from Staples, but I also have a really white one. The ones from Staples aren't so white. Um, however, you can't tell since you're coloring. So I went ahead, stamped it, color it, and then sticked it on to my beginning of my March page. And so I really just love the fairies. And then um, just to um, go further into my planner, I went ahead and did the same thing over here. Um, and for this last week of April, uh, March, sorry. So, so these little images liven up my planner. Um, I don't decorate too much, so I need all the help I can get. And I really, really love these tiny fairies. And I'm going to use it throughout my planner um, every so every once in a while. So, anyways, that's how I used um, the fairy happy and fairy garden. Okay, and then the next stamp set was, I think it was the Enjoy, and perfect for Easter if you guys grabbed it, but it's not only um, for Easter, just because they're bunny rabbits. Um, you don't have to use it for Easter, you can use it all year round, and um, especially with this little cake, you can have it for a birthday, you can have it for a thank you card, anything, um, but it came out perfect timing um, for Easter. So hopefully you guys were able to grab this stamp set um, in time for your Easter projects. There's four bunnies and then you have Enjoy and a slice of cake. Coordinating dies you can purchase as well. Super fun to use because if you're lazy like me then you know cutting them is a pain. Anyways, I created this little cute Easter box and I put some um, chocolates in it and I am love um, that the stamp set came out before Easter because I am going to be giving this away for Easter and um, I just love it. I used a silhouette file. I will link that file down below. This is what I created using um, the Enjoy stamp set. Super cute. Okay, so then the next stamp set is an Anya. We haven't had an Anya in a little bit. Um, this one is 
Rockstar Anya 2, and I don't know if you guys remember Rockstar Anya Anya 1. Um, it wasn't Rockstar Anya 1, it was just Rockstar Anya. Um, she had shorter hair, more of a punk rock look. Um, I like this updated version. The guitar is a little bit more rocker style. Um, and you get you rock and then these three hearts. I, when I saw this stamp set, I knew that I wanted to recreate what I made with the Anya Rockstar, the first one. Um, it was exactly like this, but a different color. And um, I, and it was more purple pinkish. <coughs> Excuse me. And I decided to create this because I really loved my original one and I haven't done this in a while and I created a card as well. So it's just as just simple, really simple. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on this, I think I can do one. Um, leave a comment down below if you do. Um, it will take me a, a, you know, a few weeks to do the tutorial but I will try and have it if you're interested. Um, I really like doing this. I do. I put the card in with a gift card. Um, instead of just giving a regular card with an envelope, I like to give, you know, something cutesy because they're not really opening a present, so I like to just dress it up a little bit. And so that's what I created using Rockstar Anya 2. All right, so last but not least, it is our faith stamp set and guys let me tell you when I saw this stamp set I knew that I didn't have to use her just for my Bibles I can use it for cards for favors anything um, if you guys I know that there are some of you that are hesitant on um, decorating in your Bible um, you know or just not on that path this stamp set still is a perfect set for you card makers because you have these super cute little girls. Um, this set, um, I don't know if I mentioned, it's called Hallelujah and it has worship, rejoice, pray, delight, let's praise the Lord, hallelujah, and good news. So you can use some of these sentiments on regular cards. You don't even have to use the sentiment and you could go ahead and just use the four images. Um, but if you want to put it in your Bible, then it's perfectly goes well in your Bible. If you want to do in your cards, in your little um, favors, um, just like this one, you could just, you know, substitute the little girl and then put a little um, sentiment here saying happy birthday or thank you, like she's singing it or praising it. So this stamp set, I actually really, really love. Um, I know every single time we have um, a faith release. I say it's my favorite because it just keeps getting better and better every release. So if you guys really love the Hallelujah Girls, make sure to buy this because that will tell the owner of the greeting farm that, that these are the images you would like to see more often. And this, this is what she will create. Um, the more you buy it, the more she sees how much you like it. So I highly recommend, I know there's a lot of you guys that are so much, uh, so interested in these little girls. Um, definitely let us know. Um, and hopefully we'll see more of them, um, come out. This is what I created using the Hallelujah stamp set. I went ahead and did this page and I haven't quite figured out what I wanted to journal quite yet, um, but I love decorating it. I just absolutely love the stamp set. Um, it was an artsy page for me. Like I said before in my previous videos, I absolutely love decorating in my Bible because it just gives me a great freedom um, because it's for me, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like when you make cards, you're giving it to someone so you want it to look really nice. This is just doing whatever and spending some um, quiet time with the Lord and just um, having that devotion time for me. So that's what I did. I just went ahead and painted the pages um, and then I once again stamped the girl images on sticker sheet because um, I tend to color with Copics and it goes through and especially since the Bible pages are so thin it's gonna go through. Um, if you could see the acrylic paint didn't really bleed through and if anything transferred it was 
through my little protective thing that just went on the back part, but no big deal. But you can see it doesn't go through the pages. So that's what a, um, acrylic paint does. And then, um, yeah, and I just did a little marking here and there, added some washies. I love this washi tape. This one is from Illustrated Faith. Added some butterflies and that is pretty much it. And then I will just have to journal um, like I said earlier, I'm not quite sure what I want to journal, but I went ahead and decorated this page and um, hopefully I journal soon. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this stamp set as much as I do. Um, again, let us know what you'd created using this stamp set and all of our other stamp set. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I know it was short and quick. Well, short and quick is the same thing. I, I know it was super quick, um, but I like to, um, if you're anything like me, I don't like sitting around hearing people talk on and on and on. And so I wanted to make sure that this video was a little bit faster than my uh, regular um, videos so that you guys can hurry on over to the blogs, check out what the DT created using these new stamp set. I will link them all down below and also to let us know what's your favorite. We would love to hear from you and we would love to see your creation. Make sure to hashtag the greeting farm stamps and so we could see yours and feature you on the on our Instagram page. All right. Thanks everyone and I will see you guys in next month's first look video. Take care. Bye-bye.